In this video, we'll see how to make a pizza without yeast, without oven, and without cheese. Let's get started. In a bowl, take half cup plus two tablespoon maida. To it, add salt as per taste. Then add half teaspoon sugar, one fourth teaspoon baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon baking soda. Be careful with the soda. Do not add a lot. It can ruin the taste. One teaspoon melted ghee. You can also use oil. Three tablespoon curd or yogurt. Give this all a good mix because curd also has water in it. You won't need a lot of water, so only one tablespoon will be enough. But if required, you can add a little more water. Now knead this dough for good seven to eight minutes at least, like this. And you would notice that the dough would become smoother. Now cover this and let it rest for one hour. So use a damp cloth, a wet cloth. Meanwhile, let's prepare our white sauce. So for that, in a pan, take one tablespoon butter. To it, add one tablespoon all-purpose flour or maida. At low flame, you need to cook this for three to four minutes. Make sure the flame is low. We don't want to burn it. At the same time, we do not want our sauce to taste raw. Now continue whisking and add half cup milk. Milk should be at room temperature. If you do not have butter, the ready-made butter, you can also use homemade makhan. Or you can also use ghee. Now cook this till it thickens. If required, you can add one to two teaspoon water, a little salt. You can taste the uh, sauce and adjust the salt. Now take the sauce out in a bowl and keep it aside. Let's make the red sauce. So for that, take ginger, garlic, onion. And one small size tomato. Add half cup water. Cover this and let it cook at low flame for five to seven minutes. If you do not want to use this sauce, you can also use tomato ketchup. So totally up to you if you want to make pizza sauce or if you want to use tomato ketchup. After this mixture cools down, you need to grind it. So make sure it cools down and then only you grind it. Then again in a pan, take two to three teaspoon oil. Add a little of this paste. Then add one teaspoon red chili powder. I'm using the Kashmiri one so that I get nice red color. Then one four teaspoon oregano. If you do not have it, you can skip it. Now add rest of the paste. A little water. One teaspoon sugar and some salt. Cover this and let it cook well till oil separates from the sides. If you do not want to use this sauce, you can also go with tomato ketchup or tomato ketchup, whatever you call it. So our red sauce for pizza is ready. Let's preheat our karhai. So here I've taken a big karhai which I always use. I've added half cup salt to it which I keep reusing for baking. Cover this karhai and at medium flame you need to preheat it for 10 minutes. Now take a pizza plate or you can also take regular steel plate because today I'm going to bake this pizza at low flame. I generally do not recommend steel but this time we're going to bake it at low temperature, low flame. That's why steel plate would also do. So after resting the dough for at least one hour, again knead it for a few seconds, like five to seven seconds is also fine. So I'm going to make one pizza out of this dough and roll it well. Make sure you do not keep the pizza very thick because it, it will anyway rise a little when we bake it. So you would come to know that I'm going to roll this pizza very thin. Place the rolled dough in your pizza plate or regular plate. 
and if required spread it with your hands and you would notice that I'm I've pressed this pizza dough very thin so not making a very thick pizza because you would notice that this would swell up puff up after baking and I don't like to prick the pizza in between I just like to make it this way without pricking poking or doing anything and then apply some oil on the sides and spread the red sauce like I had mentioned you can also use tomato ketchup if you want and on top of this I'm going to put this white sauce which we had prepared it looks so creamy and rich and it's going to add a really really nice and rich flavor to the pizza and you would not feel that the pizza is dry and it would still be tasty without cheese yes Now let's add some veggies. So here I've got some sweet corn, onion, capsicum and tomato and I'm adding them all. So you can add the veggies which are available to you. Adding a little more white sauce. some chili flakes and oregano so chili flakes are very easy to make at home I've already posted a video on it if you do not have it you can skip it or just sprinkle the chili powder and if you do not have oregano you can skip it to bake this pizza in OTG or convection preheat it at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and then bake this pizza for 15 minutes our kadhai has been preheating for 10 minutes at medium flame. Now lower the flame and bake this pizza at low flame for 20 to 22 minutes. Our pizza is ready and it looks beautiful. Looks like a loaded cheese pizza. It has puffed up on the sides if you had seen we had rolled this pizza very thin but it looks a little fluffy now. The base has also turned out nice and golden. Looks beautiful and tastes amazing. This pizza is made without yeast, without cheese and without using oven. Give this recipe a try and enjoy.